In an advance that could help shed light on the causes of skin disorders, researchers at the Rockefeller University in New York have developed a new technique to study skin development in living mice. It allows you to look at complex genetic pathways in a way that was inconceivable using conventional uh, mouse genetics. Most researchers who study skin biology in animal models tend to rely on transgenic mice. But creating these genetically engineered animals is a slow and laborious process that involves crossbreeding mice for several generations. And these experiments often take years to get right. So here we wanted to develop a new technology, a technology that would allow us to much more quickly uh, work our way through the functional importance of uh, of gene expression, changes in gene expression in the skin. Elaine Fuchs and her team turned to a relatively new tool called RNA interference. They identified around 150 genes that were either over or underexpressed in skin and then designed short sequences of RNA that could silence the key genes in the developing mice. To make the technique work, they injected viruses encoding the interfering RNA into embryos at just the right developmental stage for early skin development around nine and a half days old. With this approach, the researchers can silence just about any gene they want in the animal's skin. I think what we have done is that we have shown for the first time that you can go and you can knock down a gene in vivo in skin um, and see uh, what its outcome is. The technique should now allow researchers to more robustly dissect the complex genetic and molecular interactions that play out just below the surface of the body's skin. It's an extremely powerful tool because it allows us uh, to be able to look at developmental consequences at any stage along the line. Uh, we're in a position where we can now simply uh, wait for the developmental process to occur and then take a look at what are the functional consequences. This approach should help scientists better understand a number of skin conditions, ranging from eczema to acne to skin cancer. So far, Fuchs' team has demonstrated the power of the technique by wiping out a number of genes involved in skin cancer. Importantly, the researchers found that the technique was completely safe for the animals. The approach doesn't seem to be harmful to the mothers or the embryos. The, the mothers seem to recover very well and are able to uh, get pregnant and give birth again afterwards, and the embryos are usually um, perfectly fine. We've never seen them be injured by the, by the injection itself. So for any researchers who have shied away from using mice because of their complex genetics, perhaps it's time to give the rodents a second chance. If you enjoy working on worms and you enjoy working on flies because of the ease of doing genetics, you'll enjoy applying this technology um, to work on mice. For Nature Medicine, I'm Ailey Dolgan.